Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Nothing but natural goodness. Beautiful soup. Wow, fantastic. Great. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today, we're cooking Yu Tou Lu or Fish Head Steamboat. So, let's start cooking. First, let me show you how to choose the fish head. The ice must be clear like this and the fresh must be firm to touch. You can ask the fishmonger to split it open for you and you can ask them to cut into smaller pieces. But for me actually, I prefer it this way and I like to cut it myself because then I can choose what kind of size I want it to be. So now I'll show you just how to clean it off. We need to rid the fish of all this blood over here. As you can see, there's a lot of blood over here. This is what causes the fishy smell and fishy taste. So we need to clear everything up. So just take a small knife, okay? Along the skin here, just make some line cuts like this. Spray it open. Okay, you can see there's a lot of all this blood over here. This we all need to clear all this. Right? All this needs to be cleared. So just dislodge this a little bit like this. Turn up uh, the water to a small trickle. Okay, I'm using a toothbrush that I got from my overseas travel um, those disposable toothbrush so just rinse it under and just brush it off like this okay remember the cleaner you make it the tastier your fish head will be because it will be less fishy just continue to do this with the other fish head the other side of the fish head and you are done so now we've finished one of the side this is the one that I've cleaned already as you can see it's free of any blood this one is still full of the blood, so I'm going to clean this piece now. So this is how it should look like when it's clean. So after we finish cleaning the fish, I'll show you how to clean the chicken feet. Now I'm going to show you how to clean the chicken feet. Basically, we just clip this last section off, the nails. We don't need that. Just clip it off like this, very simple. And if you tend to see some chicken eye, which is the rough spot over here, just cut them off, snip them off also. But this is very nice, so it's okay another piece so just show you again snip off the nails the last section itself very simple just cut it off like this be very careful don't cut yourself and of course the last claw after you have done this put in one teaspoon or so of salt massage them through thoroughly you just want to clean them off after that all you need to do is just rinse them and blanch them and they are ready to be made into soup I'm going to dry roll some ikan bilis or anchovies like this. I've rinsed the anchovies already and let it dry out a little bit but if you want it to be more fragrant, you can actually fry it a little bit without oil, just dry roast it. This is 300 grams. Dry roasting meaning that you don't have to add any oil, just add a medium to low heat. Just turn them around. When you feel that the anchovies have dried up, it's ready for the soup. Just spread it out into your pan for about a minute or so before you stir them up again. So keep frying this until it has dried up. Stir them around, place them flat like this for a minute or so before you stir them again. This will take approximately 7 to 8 minutes. When you start to have the aroma of the ikan bilis coming up or the anchovies coming out, that means it's ready already. So what we got to do is just put this all in the muslin bag. We will also add in one full bulb of garlic, 30 grams of ginger crushed, one tablespoon of white peppercorn, all inside this muslin bag. And we will add in the anchovies too. Just like this. Just fill them up and we'll just throw them into a pot of boiling water. Now we're going to pan fry some dried soul fish like this. This will enhance the flavor of the soup. I'm using three pieces. So heat up some oil in a pan. Just put them in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brown this. This is pretty fast. 
right like this would be fine one side so i'm just going to turn it to the other side after this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut in this into smaller pieces and just drop them in the soup so later when you have your fish heads steamboat there will be little pieces of this floating around and this will enhance the flavor of the soup when it's brown like this it's done just take them out drip out the excess oil like this this is very nice very fragrant i'm just going to fry the other piece now so just do the same for this and we'll cut them into smaller pieces and drop them into the a pot of boiling water i have a pot of boiling water this five liters of them i'm going to add in 1.2 kilograms of chicken feet wash of course the anchovies ginger peppercorn and garlic just put everything in and of course the dry flounder that we have just fried put everything in put the lid back on have it at a rapid boil for 30 minutes before we turn it down at low flame just to simmer it for another one to one and a half hours so there will be a total of at least one and a half hours to two hours time to make this beautiful soup now we are going to season the fish head first you need to chop them up into smaller pieces like this if you think that you have a problem chopping this up you can actually ask your fishmonger to do this for you don't cut them into too small a piece because they will disintegrate if you boil them for long in the soup so what we need very simple one big tablespoon of uh, fresh ginger juice grate some ginger squeeze them out this is the fresh ginger juice right put them all in one teaspoon of salt now the purpose of seasoning the fish head is for the ginger juice is to get rid of the fishiness the salt is to add a little bit of taste into the fish this is what we want and of course white pepper mix them up well and put them in the fridge for at least half an hour the soup has been boiling for one and a half hours let's have a look look at the color beautiful milky soup we have not added any salt to this soup yet so i'm just going to add two teaspoons of this salt and we're going to give it a taste nothing but natural goodness beautiful soup wow fantastic great now i'm going to transfer the soup into a clay pot now i'm going to transfer the soup into this clay pot underneath this clay pot itself i'm lining it up with cabbages yam over here and of course the fish head look at how beautiful this soup is so i'm just going to pour everything in i'm going to chop it up a little bit more do not cross the line otherwise it will overfill we are just waiting for this to come to a boil once this comes to a boil we will cover it up and let it cook for another 15 to 20 minutes try to submerge as much as you can into the soup all these are natural goodness no MSG just pure goodness I'm using a clay pot here instead of a normal steamer because I want to retain the heat. Normally, if you were to eat outside, they will deep fry the yam as well as the fish head first. Why they want to do that is because they do not want the fish to disintegrate into the soup so that you will only see bones. But since we are eating at home and we want it healthier, we are not deep frying anything. The important thing is not to stir it away too much. So just leave it like this first. Okay, when it boils, just cover. In case you do not want to use fish head, you can always replace it with pom fret flesh of fish or anything like that now we just wait for this to come to a boil as you can see bubbles are already popping up from all over the clay pot it's getting to boil now so i'm just going to cover it and let it boil for 15 to 20 minutes 15 minutes is up let's have a look beautiful to top it off i'm going to add in some spring onions as well as some cilantro and it's time to serve this and ladies and gentlemen this is how we cook our fish head steamboat i hope you like our video do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel thank you for watching